A special thanks to all super sponsors, including new super sponsor Zenith. Visit David X Newton on Patreon to join the ASCII Brigade. Are you really still watching these? Well, I hope you're ready for yet another Doom level. Uh, because that's exactly what we're going to get by ED Games 56. Alright. Zombie man, zombie man. Oh, hang on a minute, you need a blue skull to open? What? I was just checking for secrets. That shotgun would be really good about now. Uh, your music uh, was in rhythm with the pistol. Blue key. Something bad's happened. Oh no! Actually, let's go back here. Oh, I need a blue skull to open that door. I'm afraid. Okay, anything worth looting in here? Doesn't look like it. Let's find this other door. Oh, quite a lot of you, actually. Red co what are these doors that don't look like doors? Alright, that's gonna need a red card, obviously. Let's get through this blue carded door. Oh. Going to be a bit darker from now on. Red key, all right. And that's yet another Doom level, which uh, ended a bit sooner than I thought it would. Hold on. Yeah, so uh, just some comments, uh, having done that. Did, did, did uh, this need a red card? Yes, it did. And that's a blue skull. Yeah, so... You've got the basics working. You've got a uh, little entrance using Sky. Comes into a base. Uh, your rooms are very square. Uh, you've experimented with some off-grid uh, lines down here and up there, but you can make your rooms look a bit more interesting by including more of those. And also use different heights for the uh, floors. Make the buildings look, I suppose, less realistic to make them more interesting levels. Uh, instead of just having a big flat area here, you can cut out a bit there, make that go down, have stairs go down into it, block off some bits of the room with some tall computers, uh, give the enemies hiding spaces, things like that. Uh, I'm intrigued to find what's below this, uh, behind this uh, blue door. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, where'd this come from? You've got all these de all this uh, detail and doom cute in here. You've got a little computer. Uh, uh, you need a yellow skull to activate that one. What kind of secrets does this map hold? Where's the yellow skull going to be? Um, uh, actualist. Uh. There are some Doom players as a spider mastermind. That's a bit of a surprise. Um, I'm really interested in the yellow skull, though. 2416224. Uh, I need my pause one. Uh, what was it? 2416224. Okay. Yeah, look at that. There's a. Uh... There's something there. How did I not see that? Uh, 
Right, that's the yellow skull. You've got music trick. Are you playing a trick on me? Are you pretending to be a beginner and, the, and this is going to transport me away into another dimension? I don't know what you're doing, but I want it to stop. This isn't a game anymore. Right, I'm off. Well, uh, I'm just sitting here in the lobby of the Blue Creek Apartments, where nothing can possibly go wrong. Uh, that spooked me pretty well. That was well done for the uh, pretense at the start. Uh, the map does go on a bit from there. It's not a scary map, uh, but it does have a message. And DD Games, I, I do hope you're doing all right. Maybe I'll have a word with you later. Um, uh, the next map is uh, Grey Beret. Uh, gives us a Spor Terminal, which is a total conversion preview. Wow, that is a total conversion. Oh. A city-wide quarantine is in effect. Please follow the white bulkheads to the train terminal for evacuation. Thank you for choosing Tech Sport Travels. All right. Uh, let me just get rid of my ID my pause at first. Here we go. Wow. I love that GZ Doom can be used by people so easily to uh, draw up their own textures, do their own total conversion. Obvious uh, tribute to E1M1 here. I wonder if it extends to a switch. It does. That gives me a shotgun. Must be on march from the other side. This whole thing's a tribute to E1M1, isn't it? Oh, look at that. What was that? Okay. Am I going backwards through the level now? I've, 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 have I ruined your natural order? Well, that's fucking terrifying, isn't it? Ah, it's the A-A-K! -E A-E-K! Who, who has time for rewrite run sights? I want to stare into a little light bulb wick front sight. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'll just fill myself up on pie and chips. What are these? Some of there's some fries lying around. I think they brought the blue cheese. Uh, okay. Hang in there! Ah! Or not. Well, I did something. It's that. I love that. And there's a little uh, ZZT-ish uh, tribute as well. I've been on the internet for a stupidly long time in my life, haven't I? From ZZT in the year 2001-ish to... Not topic! Uh, whatever you're looking for, it's Memo is Long Dead. 99 pence store, 7 out of heaven. Okay, so this is the, uh, I suppose, the intended way through the level before I broke it by taking that string of secrets. So here we go, this would be the corridor leading around to the computer room in E1M1, which is now a security station. I like the, uh, I don't know what you would call that, a sort of light bar up there? It's fascinating to see the enemies you've put together. It's 
It's very uh, Duke Nukemish, the whole thing. And yeah, this of course was the uh, zigzag over the acid. <laughs> A little uh, forklift. Uh, what do you call them? Sizzle? I don't know. Uh, those terrible little. What are they? Mice? Elephants? Whatever it is, I don't like it. And into the train. Hey there. Hey, thank you so much for playing my levels, especially this preview of my plan to conversion. If you're in a rush, no worry, the exit's in the generator behind you. Till next we meet again, either in Doomland or somewhere else entirely new. Oh, right, and uh, I will let you... Uh, look through that conversation if you're so inclined. Uh, let's take a... No, let's not take the exit just now, because there's one other secret in E1M1 that I'm wondering about. Ah, I saw that. It's not quite far down. Has it actually risen further since the last time I looked at it? There. It's not uh, gone down far enough. I'll I'll work that out again later. But yeah, this is a promising start, isn't it? The three D enemies. God knows where you got those from. <laughs> and uh, I enjoyed the uh, real world uh, train station aesthetic. Fits right into Ramp Twenty Twenty Four. That was nice. What's next? Uh, I, I keep on getting frustrated by uh, GZ Doom's uh, thinking of how it handles skies. Because you never quite tell what it's going to do with them. I need to stretch this one up a bit and by virtue of it being a bit taller or then reposition it or something like that. Anyway, uh, we're doing Corrosive Sister and this is my first map by Yoshi the Mage. And it's going to be a 276 monster map and uh, we must have come down from there. Immediately into some fighting with uh, different monsters, different levels, different angles. I say make combat interesting. So how much I can do with the pistol here. There we go. Granted a medipack, which we don't really need just now. Ah, there's our shotgun. It's got some legs attached to it at the moment. Oh. Uh, so I presume... Ah, there we go. There's just a shotgun lying around. Oh, we're straight into the high-level enemies. Let's actually go this way first. This is a nice uh, kind of storytelling that they set up a barrier with crates and... Uh, Unfortunately, didn't survive, but it meant uh, I can keep the shotgun. There's definitely a faster way to do this, but I don't know if there's a safer one. Just wasn't paying attention to anything except the Revenant missiles.
There we go. Oh no, there's two more of them. Okay. Maybe I'll go down there after all. Ooh. Bit of a faff getting my shotgun out and my fist put away and everything there. Looks like an unfortunate spill on the floor. not meant to be a pool, I often find that uh, changing the floor texture without changing the height looks a bit weird. I wonder if going up a pixel would work to... Uh, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Just a thought. Well, you've got the hang of traps, I hear a demon behind me. Right, and... Now I'm being boxed in, which is lovely. <laughs> oh, we'll call it a draw. There we go, use the... oh. Well, use the imps, but uh, then don't survive long enough to enjoy it. This was my worst attempt yet. <clears throat> there we go, just get step past them. And that's recovering our health. And now I am in serious trouble. Oh, how did I get hit by that? Adequacy, that's right. Made it. Wow. some heavier weapons if I'm going to keep going like this. Well done. Well, some useful supplies even in the little caved-in rooms. It's a nice way of having uh, doors which, you know, in a realistic scenario a room would have. But without uh, just having them unopenable. Was that the rocket or was that me? Oh. It's not having enemies up on uh, pillars like that because when a monster has to turn around it resets the amount of time before it decides to fire again, strangely enough. Hmm. Yeah, there's a bit of environmental storytelling here, where these bits have been blocked off by uh, desperate survivors with a severe lack of shotguns. Right, now... Oh, I thought that might be a super shotgun, but it wasn't. Regular old one, but uh, at least uh, we replenish our ammunition. Hello, scally bones. Okay, back on our feet. Is 
certainly really good looking for the first map. Oh. Oh no! Chain, good, uh, chain gun, whatever you call it, doesn't go unpunished. Take them out one by one, right to left, as I gradually emerge from cover. Alright. You've got some interesting uh, shapes in your room, so you can make the room shapes a bit more interesting as well by uh, using some uh, non-orthogonal lines. That and using a few different textures can uh, go a lot, long way to make your sections have more character to them. Again, you've got to balance what's realistic with what looks good. Because realistically, this whole place would just be the same brown wall over and over. Never hurts to check. Ah! We've got past that door. Oh, and there's another cup of coffee here, but I can't drink that one. Must have gone cold. Oh dear. Really? Two of them? I'm just... I'm off. Maybe not. Left not giving me the escape route I wanted. Am I supposed to have a rocket launcher by now or something? I'm capable of uh, shooting down a couple of arch files with a shotgun, but I don't want to. One. Oh. Nice combination attack. Yeah, this isn't a great place to be if you want to uh, actually avoid the archfell. There's not a lot of cover. Got the crates and uh, got to hope that you'll be not boxed in. Two, okay. Wankers. Oh, those lifts that stay down for ages. Zero, one, two, three, there we go. Not a four second lift like uh, the default Doom ones. Okay. Exhausted of ammunition and breath, we uh, move on. Uh, so 
some nice supplies. There we go. That's what I was looking for. That wasn't get the way. Oh, who gets to fire those two close together? Don't do that again. All right, fine. this for him. Yeah. That revenant's uh, not a problem. I think I might have shoved him a bit with my shotgun blast so that he's just over a line. Yep, there he goes. Smarted by demons that are programmed to run towards you. And we're safe. <sighs> Maybe I'll just go and hide in the corner. <laughs> Come on then. I can't just uh, step over the barrier there, all right. Where'd he come from? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, not much ammo either. This is not going to go well for me. Well, out of options, eh? Whoa. Okay, that's better. Had to make a bit of a mad dash for it, but uh, we're alive again. Ow! Just go up there. Oh, I can't. This uh, this is a full barrier. Oh, you love your sudden difficulty spikes. Oh, I've got to stay down here as well. There's no retreat. Take that last uh, health back after all. Oh, I got a 
10 hit point missile and then a 90,000 hit point missile. <clears throat> Just been watching uh, Maid Marion and Her Merry Men again, which was this uh, series in the UK, which is like a children's version of Blackadder, if you've seen that. Written by Tony Robinson. And there's one part where King John, infuriated, asks, Nottingham, do you have a sore throat? No, my lord. And then he holds up this wood saw. Would you like one? Possibly wouldn't be allowed on television these days. No, I don't want to be one of those people because every YouTube video of any comedian at all will be some moaner saying, oh, you couldn't put these on television these days. Yeah, of course you couldn't put Ronnie Barker on television these days because he's dead. And there's no sign of anyone actually complaining about it. It's just they, they love to moan about imaginary voices in their head. I seem to have gone on a bit of a rant, I'm sorry. Right, uh, that took me a bit of a while. And I've got some pet missiles following me. Yes, you'll do, thank you. Right, oh dear. <laughs> well, that took me by surprise. I like how some people use the uh, door textures and uh, put them diagonally using many sectors in a row to symbolize broken doors. It's not something I ever thought of doing, but it's a motif that I've seen a few times. Right, back we go. But wasn't there a wall here or something? Okay. This looks a bit slaughter mappy here. We'll see how it goes. I don't mean that sarcastically, by the way, which it sounded an awful lot like, but... Sometimes you just want a heap of vimps and barons and hell knights and you need to fend them off with a rocket launcher. I'll have some more of those, thank you. Oh, I am running out of ammunition quite severely, aren't I? Obligingly, they uh, just got out of the way. Well, fed up of dodging, let's just... Uh... I was... <laughs> I was trying to say there's green splats all over my face or something and then realised there was no way I could say that. <laughs> Monsters later. Is 
It's really genius how they kept Doom so deterministic. Deliberately, most monsters won't have a random offset to their uh, attacks. You always know exactly how they're going to attack. Scoop up some of these. Twelve monsters left! Um, we still haven't got to that red door that I saw at the very start of the level. That's still offline. Oops. Oh, that's also still offline. Is there any way of putting that online? Um. Ah, okay. You did some... Oh yeah, I see it, with the little trim there. For people who are too curious. Okay, um, so do I go back to the red door now? I mistimed that quite famously. <clears throat> yeah, let's grab that uh, bio suit this time. That's going to come in useful. Hello. Enthusiastic with the rockets there. Come on, come on, come on! Oh, yeah, I left some monsters behind to you. Sort that out now. Yeah, so I think I left some medikits behind at the very start. I was going to say there was a bit uh, of backtracking without uh, monsters in the way, but uh, when there are monsters in the way, I'd rather there weren't. <laughs> Oh, I can't get past that little bit. <laughs> yes, okay, so I came from there. Let's go through here. That's the end of uh, Corrosive Cistern. A decent acid theme map. I think uh, there were a couple of difficulty spikes. Not impossible ones, but uh, ones that kept the map interesting. So from the Corrosive Cistern we go to the much more pleasant and touristy Azure Aqueduct. This one's by Kobold Dev. Wasn't really much choice, was there? Oh, I like the use of the uh, textures from Hexen. These uh, <laughs> pews look kind of uncomfortable if you get your cardigan caught in them. Ooh. Just dive into this, then the huge cappuccino. Whoa! Alright, I was expecting that to be a teleport rather than just a uh, straight down. Oh, but we need to uh, get rid of those quickly. Yeah, three shots each, that's perfect. 
Maybe hiding in the corner would be better. This is a great town, uh, square level environment thing. Look at all the layers to it. a lot of environments here. We had uh, a church to start off with, went through a village, now we're in a tech base and uh, we're actually going out of a tech base back into a village environment again. So a lot of, uh, oh, a lot of places to be hit from, lots of hit scanners. Not so many health points. Let's see if we can find some. Oh, you see that? Just when you think it's safe, there's uh, another nuke and or cranny to shoot fireballs through. Oh yeah, this will get me to the health packs in the middle, at least. What's up here? Fortunately, they weren't paying a lot of attention. was bound to happen. Let's actually pick up some health packs. deal with them as well, so I don't have fireballs flying all over the place. Alright, I think we've calmed things down. Oh, hold on a second. This way, thank you. <laughs> nice little hint. Now I was, uh, Shooting chain gunners at the start, but I never got to share in one of their chain guns. Maybe you'll be the lucky winner. No, I still can't get up. A double barrel shotgun there. Mm. 
I love the uh, village aesthetic of this. This is a really nice looking map. <laughs> So those mancubuses didn't fire once. Are they, uh, are they set to fire? Yeah, there they go. Switch up there. Oh, that would have been easier. Hold on then. First time. Well, it had to happen sometime. Thank you for catching that one for me. Oh, just where that made myself look good. to find more ammunition. Mm. Well, I got what I asked for, but... Uh... Yes, there's some rockets. That's a rocket launcher again, that's good. There's the chain gun at last. Clever to keep the chain gun from the player with careful placement of the chain gun, as I'm saying that as I run over another chain gun that I could have reached quite easily if I'd just taken another route. Um, I wanted to see if I could just uh, get rid of them all by punching them, but I don't think I can. That's a blue key, thank you. Oh, and somebody's been released. Aha! Oh! Seconds too late. Let's get rid of you first. Oh, thanks. least another couple up there. Oops. Oh, I suppose that yeah moves the lift down so I can get back up here. Okay. But I do need that blue key so let's do that first. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, just just a couple of them. Nothing we can't handle. I deserve that. What kinds of uh, little pieces around the map? You've found a lot of places to stuff things in and uh, open things where the player doesn't expect them. Uh, yes, uh, blue key. Which would have given me the super shotgun here if I'd uh, chosen to pursue that route. Nice little there are different ways to complete this map. And you're not just hung out to dry if you happen to choose one route or the other. Okay. Come on down. Can I get across? Oh. Not like that, I can't. Let's just go up here. Alright, so I got the super shotgun from there, I got the blue key, got the yellow key. And I don't know what to do now. I just love this room. Detail on it's fantastic. Oh, I see. Okay, so you've got to switch the uh, uh, switches. What can I say? And that gives you a path to hop across to the exit. Does that mean... Oh, no, I've got to find a red skull first. Been a bit short of red skulls. Ah. It's like when you get a split in bowling and uh, you try to do something fancy, but it just goes straight down the middle every time. Yeah, hang on a minute. And is that? Oh, that's just scenery, is it? <laughs> Let me think I've got away with it for a few short seconds. I'll just stay up here. Monsters aren't being very uh, trigger happy with me today. Seem to be a bit uh, shy of firing. the uh, miasma that you've got going on these walls. How did you do that? Yeah, it looks like it's just a transparent uh, texture. 
in front of the skulls. All right, and uh, now we approach this from that end. Ah. Uh, no, actually, this one will do. This has just been a really nice looking map. Oddly, I think the start of it was much harder than any of the other bits, apart from maybe the big flood of revenants. Just because you're dropped down into all this coming at you from all sides. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, especially those chain gunners, but uh, we got rid of them. We survived, and uh, I'm just in awe of this room. That was very pleasant. Our last map this time is going to be a bit of a shorter one. This is Breaking by Sparkwave. Okay, jump acknowledged. <laughs> it's funny because in uh, most of these themed maps, you're trying to break out of somewhere. Right, we're going to need a blue, yellow, and red key to get through there. Ah, uh, we're going to need a blue key for that one. I see a tunnel. Seem to be heading in the wrong direction, but uh, we'll correct that. Oh, hang on. You know, it'll maybe save me a couple of health points. Oh, these, uh... These guards are guarding the secret tunnel. Whoops. Oh, polished marble floor. Oh, maybe I'll just uh, go around the outskirts of this one. Oh, maybe I can't. I need that red key. There we go. I'm just going to keep going around here until somebody notices me. Right, thanks for finishing off the manky business. Now get lost. There's a solitary lost soul that came from somewhere. can't see me, but I'm dancing in my chair a bit to this music. So, uh, yeah, I got the red key from that, and a passageway that I completely failed to notice. Hold on. Yeah, I need to go that way. Yeah, 
I'm running away from that one because I'm so exposed to the chain gunners. Whoa! That was a sudden arch file. Tie. Background here again, background here again, okay. Uh, do you think I'd fare any better with this? Fared a bit better by just getting out of his way. I thought that might be a big teleport that uh, took me away somewhere terrible. Oh, look at that! I'll just grab all of those, thank you very much. Yep, thank you. Hmm. I'm not sure where they are or where they think they're going. So do I just uh, walk all the way back now? Because there's another... yeah, there's that lift. I suppose I will. Oh no, I can't bring that down. I'll have to use this. That's it. Alright, what is here? Can't go there. And this was... Oh, I suppose it's using that texture because it's the blue lift, yeah. All right, so where is the yellow key? Maybe I'll have another look at those uh, caca demons. Just double checking here first as well. All right. Where are y'all? Whoa! Okay, gravity's gone. That's new. One subtle thing you could do to prevent any confusion of the player's uh, switched gravity there is uh, arrange it so there's a little shelf that looks like you can jump up normally and that will encourage the player to hit jump and then they'll be surprised by them uh, rocketing up into the air. Just like I was. Whoop. Ah! <laughs> I, don't, I don't have any air control. That's my problem. Oh no! Come back, Iron Boo! Oh, this is just... <laughs> if I do it this way, will it work? No, I wasn't quite running. There we go. Yes, okay. Right, saved from that embarrassing moment. Oh no, the, the... That one is controlled by this switch. The other one you can hit directly. It's a bit confusing that it's inconsistent like that. I've got no monsters, but I'll just uh, top myself up with health anyway. And we have broken in! That was great, Sparkwave. That's a really competent first Doom map with uh, some interesting ideas in it. I love seeing the ones from beginners all the time. Thanks also to patrons of all tiers who contribute to the monetary and mental cost of hosting RAMP. If you'd like to support the project, please look at David X Newton on Patreon.